is a sex film. It sounds fantastic, really. <laughs> People are supposed to appear in scenes as naked, bedroom scenes, and uh, as far as I know, people are offered to uh, 50 pounds to walk down certain parts of the town naked. Well, I mean, it's going from 50 to 100 and 100 to 150. There's nothing wrong with it. Or any feeling. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Oh, yes. Rumour seems to stalk the town of Kilkenny as far as this film is concerned. Lock Up Your Daughters is a compilation of a couple of gamey restoration dramas by Fielding and Vanbra, based on a tale which rejoices in the title of Rape Upon Rape. It's a comedy, of course, a simple, ultimately moral story of three sailors ashore in London looking for what, well, what sailors often look for, for girls. It has all the elegance, all the wicked wit of Restoration England, the permissiveness of 18th century high and low life. The men are foppish, and the women, and this is part of the trouble in Kilkenny, the women wear low, bosom-revealing gowns. Tom Jones, one feels, would be at home in Kilkenny right now. But ask around the town, and you'll hear the most hair-raising stories. Decolletage is fair enough. But they say that there's more to it than that. What the producers really want, you'll hear, is girls running naked through Kilkenny streets. If you peel to the pelt, they say, you can earn yourself a five or a second in the altogether. And not everyone's happy about these stories. It's a mark. It's dirty. A girl is supposed to run up to a high street in a nude <laughs> and also to run down the canal been followed by two sailors. Well, I've read part of the, the book and uh, uh, it's not fit for to be shown or to be filmed in this country at all. I know the outline stories about some sailors who visit a town and there are brothels involved and fox involved and it's a general 18th century gaudy comedy, but apart from that I don't know any details. As a single man I say, any picture is good. Don't you picture up and educate people? I don't approve of people running nude in the streets because I think it gives people a bad, the city a bad name. Uh, this film was supposed to be made, I think, in Scotland. But uh, I, I've heard that they didn't allow it to be made in Scotland. They were kicked out of Scotland over the type of film it was. As far as the moral is concerned, I don't simply know nothing about the moralism and I don't tolerate it. And they were saying they had very hard work getting girls into Kenny to act as extras. And then the next thing was they were bringing in busloads of prostitutes from other towns to act in the, presumably in the film. Lock Up Your Daughters is a three million dollar movie and producer David Deutsch is not at all troubled by the rumours. Do you in fact, Mr Deutsch, want girls running you through the set? Are you talking personally or in terms of the film? As far as the film is concerned. No, it's not called for in the script. and There's, there's no sequence that involves that. There are no nude scenes in the film No, not such. at all, no. no. How, how would you describe the film? Would you describe it as a bawdy picture? No, I think that that would be too limiting. I think life is what the film's about. Life in every manifestation that it has. Um, of course, life is sometimes bawdy and sometimes gamey, and it certainly was in the 18th century. But I think that it would be far too limiting to say that it was just a bawdy film. It has humour, pathos, um, excitement, uh, mainly humour. You've suggested somewhere that uh, there's a certain amount of permissiveness in it and that people in today's what you call permissive society will be able to identify with the permissive society of uh, restoration times. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, I think that um, today um, uh, in our society um, certain standards that perhaps applied uh, ex uh, at the surface anyway in uh, other uh, moments in history such as perhaps the Victorian time um, don't apply today. I think that there is a much greater freedom of behaviour and uh, a greater freedom of expression. Uh, and I think that that applied in the 18th century. I think that, um, therefore, uh, I hope that anyway, people looking at the film won't feel that it's old-fashioned or not in direct contact with their own experience of life. Is it the sort of film that is likely to have trouble with 
censors, either in Britain or in America or in this country? I hope not, no. Um, the film, in fact, is a very innocent story. It's the story of three sailors who come into London uh, on leave in the 18th century. And like all men, they're going to, young men particularly, and uh, they're going to find themselves girls, um, and uh, maybe uh, anything that the girls will give them. And in fact, none of them get what they uh, anticipate getting, and in fact end up married, all three of them, at the end of the picture. So I think it would be said to be very innocent in that sense. The girls of Kilkenny can spare themselves their modest blushes. But while no one is being asked to pose naked for the cameras, there have been difficulties about recruiting extras locally. Casting director Kevin Palmer explains why. There's been a marvellous response to our advertisements for extras. The difficulty arises in the, well, now I speak from the sort of female angle, from the shape of the extras. Um, there was a great deal in the sort of press on the weekend about where have all Kilkenny's daughters gone. Well, I mean, they're, they're here, but for our purposes, for this film, as it is a restoration comedy, we want girls of um, what are obviously a different shape than the girls that have turned up here. What's wrong uh, with the shape of the girls that have turned up here? Well, there's, there's nothing wrong with the shape, uh, physically speaking, but they're not just right for our film. Uh, they should be a more sort of rounded shape, and uh, here they tend, if I can say, to be square shape. What you really want then is sort of busty girls. Yes, we want, we want very lusty, sort of Rubenesque girls rather than a sort of... Um, solid country farm type girls. I mean, they're very nice girls, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm, and I'm very pleased with the response that we've had here. But, uh, um, I mean, as you've seen from some of the shapes of the girls we've brought from England, we would like maybe 40 or 50, that sort of shape. Of that particular model? Uh, yes, if possible. Well, obviously, if they're not looking for girls with fine figures, otherwise they'd have all in Kilkenny, wouldn't they? We're supposed to be a Catholic country. We don't want a model in the rottenness. I have not very dressed as playing half my body. <laughs> We're very dead out here in Kitkin. It's about time we got something.